living is supposedly a process of dying, and I guess to a point that's true. But where most people are, and especially you, but at your age, you're in the process of growing more than you are in dying. But everything is going to die sometime or another. Uh, along the outside edge, you see these pieces of fat out of here. That's what the deer stores up. So the days in the winter, if the snow is too deep and it cannot get out, and that can happen farther in the north, it doesn't happen here. But if they can't get out to eat, this is their food supply. That's kind of like having a package of Wheaties in your pocket. <laughs> You're able to end up and have something to put you to, to live on. I'm going to, next year, I want to remove a big muscle that's along the back, that's called a loin. If you feel on both sides of your spinal column, you can feel a muscle that runs up the full length of that. That's a loin muscle. From a food viewpoint, that's probably what is the most desirable for people. I'm just going to get out the biggest share of it. This sets right up against the backbone. And it does a less work than most muscles. That's why it's so tender. If you go and buy pork chops in the store, uh, that is coming out of the loin. And when you get it out of the store, this is the pork chop, the center of the pork chop, but then there's a rib connected with it. Well, see, I didn't take off the rib here. So you can buy pork chops either with or without the rib. With the rib, they're less expensive. Well, you can't eat the rib, so is it cheaper to buy rib, the boneless ones, or the others? I don't know. I don't know if anybody else has figured all that out or not. But <laughs> Very often, as we used to do this, with kids would want to know, is that good meat? Is that still good to eat? Uh, my answer is, if I were starving, I would eat it without batting an eye. As they say, you'd eat it in a heartbeat. Uh, we're not starving, so why would you leave, eat this old stuff? which probably does not have a real good smell to it. You don't have to. But if you were living somewhere where you were starving, I don't, I don't think that's poisonous. I don't think it's going to kill you. But I also am not going to find out because I'm not going to eat it. And I wouldn't advise you to eat it, but I don't think the danger of any of you ever getting to the point that you're starving probably is very, very slim. I would like to open this up a little bit if I could. Then. There's a big couple of tubes that run from this head into the interior of the body. Anybody know what they are? Jake? I don't want the pipe. What's the other name for windpipe? Trachea. And then what's the second two? Ethan Ross Miller, please come to the office. Ethan Ross Miller, please come to the office. It's, it's your food tube, West? Right. <laughs> I'll just get this loosened up a little bit, and then we want to take, get these ribs out of the way. You know that your ribs are fastened to your spine on one side and your sternum, this part right here, on the other. The sternum is a cartilage. You can cut it with a knife. You cannot cut these ribs off with a knife. So in order to get these cut off so that we can open this up, 
and see what we're going to find, and you don't know what you're going to find. You never do. You may open this up, and it may be a pool of blood in there. And you may open it up, and this stomach has been just ripped open, and there's some undigested food all over, and that's bad as far as the smell is concerned. <laughs> all of you have experienced some time of growing up in your life, and you know it smells very strong and tastes terrible. But yet, that's what's in your stomach every day. It's usually it stays in your stomach, so it doesn't bother you. But there have to be acids and things in your stomach strong enough to be, change that food from solid to liquid. So, as I tried to take these ribs off, there isn't any other way that I know of that I <laughs> And I don't, I hope that you do this, that you don't puncture the lungs, but that's sometimes kind of hard. You can see the lungs through here. You see one. You have two. 